Hi, we're back again. Still having a long, relaxed breakfast. Um, uh, you know, we're just a bit disturbed by what we just overhead. The couple that was seated beside us. Oh, can you? Um, they were very rude to the hotel staff, I must say. I don't know, maybe they feel they were privileged. And um, I think it's not really good. It's not good, actually, to treat people who are serving you in um, in a different country just because they are waiters, you treat them like slaves. And I think the way they're talking to these guys and most of the staff um, are black and Indian. So the way they were talking at them, I really didn't, I didn't find it pleasing at all. Now, you know, uh, you know with what Aaron just adding on to what Aaron is saying this the, the hotel that we're in right now and the place the country that was situated in we're in Mauritius mm. and the hotel is called um, the beach mm. it's one of the beach um, I'm sure if you've watched the other videos you know exactly where we are there is a certain level of professionalism that is given in this particular hotel but I'm finding that a lot of the time that you see the interactions between you know the locals and, and the, the clients clients so to speak yeah you you, you see like a, a different power dynamic mm. you know there's a there's a sort of level of thinking of thinking that they're privileged they're, they're privileged or, or more privileged than another person um and i always tell my husband this i say to him that if you're visiting another person's country mm. Not only a country, but you should just treat people That's the fairly. number one value. Mm. The number one value is treat people with respect, no matter who the person is. Yes, right? yeah. There is no one who is more superior or inferior. And just because a person has money, or you feel that you're able to afford a holiday, you know, in a different country, it doesn't mean that now you must treat people with a, with a level of disrespect. Yeah. You know? So in general, treat people with respect, but point number two that I'm going to make is that if you're situated in another country and you're visiting another country take the time to respect the locals you know, don't don't treat people um, in a way that is contrary to the way you treat people in your own place you know in your own country so I, I don't know if you have anything to add on to that well I think I think um People should just treat others with respect and we should treat everyone fairly and treat them well. You know, yesterday we were just having a conversation with one of the hotel staff here and I was trying to find out the demographic, the demographic divide or the demographics of this country. He actually said in this country, Mauritius, we, we don't see race. It's a, we don't see you as black or as Indian or as white. To us, we're all the same, you know. Um, we've got Muslims, we've got Hindus, Christians, blacks, white, um, Chinese. We all treat each other fairly and we don't classify each other according to race. It, it was very fascinating and I found it very hard to hold moment because where we're coming from uh, there's something very peculiar about SA even when they describe a sex uh, person it's that black man that white man it's always and, a, a classification it's sort of like you, you know that we're all compartmentalized into different you know and uh, I think it's terms. yeah, and that's why people. That's why the, it's a very restrictive, violent yeah. place yeah. to be, because the minute you start treating people like animals, they are just gonna lash out. And I was very upset about that. So you know, respect has to be enforced. <laughs> Um, and I think that's a very, it's a very African concept. You know, we've been taught about Ubuntu in South Africa, where 
you are supposed to treat everybody the same. You know, it's a cu yeah. it's a cu it's in fact it's a culture. Ubuntu is like a culture. Yeah, it's part of us. It's humanity. Yeah, it's a, it's, it it encompasses respect. You know, um, gratitude, compassion for others, empathy. You know. Um, respecting your elders that kind of stuff is, is what we have learned you know as, as, as Africans in the African context so yeah quite, quite important they to, didn't have respect at all those yeah. those two yeah. that couple didn't have respect yeah. they just they just treat people like animals mm. and it's, it makes me sad and angry mm. I mean even me you know coming here because I've, I've I was raised in a place where even even if you walk out of a room mm. and there's someone who's going to be cleaning for you or whatever, it's important to still respect. You don't just go throwing around your your underwears and your oh. your dirty clothes all over the floor. You know, at least leave the place in a in a decent kind of way so that whoever's following and coming into to help you clean your hotel or whatever, you know, it, it shows that you respect them. You know. Mm. Um, and I've heard so many stories from, you know, these these workers in the hotels who experience a lot of disrespect. And abuse. Where, yeah, and abuse. Where clients are just unhygienic, they don't take care of themselves, they just expect a certain level of, 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 of service. Yeah. Um, it just doesn't make sense, you know. Yeah, it doesn't. So... Yeah, but well... You can't change the world. You can only change yourself and be with the change you want to and, see and in the, the world. And the thing is, when you see this kind of behavior happening, you, you can't really say, hey, you can't go to that person and say, but why are you acting like this? Yeah. this you, know? you know, because... Um, it's a lesson that they're supposed to learn on their own, I guess. You know, it's something that... They'll uh, never learn. They're too old to learn. They, uh, you just have to leave them like that. Anyways... Let's finish up, wrap up. Yeah, so we we'll can to finish up and wrap up. Uh, this, this, yeah, this video was just to, to discuss the... You know, what not to do. What not to do. And how to treat others when you're traveling. Don't just say because you've saved money for two, three months, and you, or a year, or... Or you're a life. businessman, or you're a CEO you, at a Chinese company, or whatever, you know. And then when you, you go to a certain place, you want to be bossy and treat people as if they are subhuman. It's it's not really nice. It's and they are very respectful Mauritians. They 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 got a level of peaceful existence in them. But yeah, I think just so gracious and kind. They're very kind. They're very gracious. Very intelligent people. You know they. Mm. They've got their the country itself is very well organized, and they've know? got this island feel of yeah. you know why are you angry? I mean, you just have to you just have to you know just relax and. I mean, I even noticed the remember today this morning when you said uh, you know a lot of the waste management in, in Mauritius is, is amazing. No, yeah, yeah. um, using things like eco plastic, which yeah. is top standard yeah. even for the water bottles you know there was mm. a lot of eco plastic for the um, hand and body lotions that they've got there your shower gel it's all eco plastic the dustbins don't have bin liners and I'm guessing maybe that's also an environmentally conscious statement that they're trying to make there mm. but you know over and above it's just a beautiful beautiful country with very beautiful people yeah and I, I, I would hate to see other people treating um, people in a bad way so we just felt like this is something or it's an issue that might need to be addressed if you guys have any comments or you've experienced something similar um, you can let us know in the comments below yes okay, okay. don't forget to like share and, and subscribe. subscribe thank you